name of a singer opening tonight at Manhattan's famed Carlisle Hotel might make you do a double take. You probably know Isaac Mizrahi as a famous fashion designer, but his first dream was to make it in show business. In fact, he attended the famous LaGuardia High School for Performing Arts. And to David Reporter, Sandy Kenyon here now with more on Isaac's second act, Sandy. <laughs> Dave, fashion was not his first love. It just turned out that growing up in Brooklyn, young Isaac found he had a knack for making clothes and a flair for fashion. Say the name Isaac Mizrahi, and this is the image that comes to mind. A fashion designer at the peak of his powers, unzipped. But in the quarter century since the release of that documentary, Mizrahi has returned to his first love. You can be happy if you want. My eighth grade self would have been surprised about the fashion part, you know, because my eighth grade self was like so needful of show business. He was raised in East Flatbush. Did you blend into that neighborhood growing up? Um, no, no, it was it was really I have to say it was a very, very funny, bad childhood. I mean, it was this kind of thing where I was not just like a sore thumb. I was a massive red sore thumb. The roots of his performing career lie in his decision to attend what's known as the fame school. I went from this crazy, crazy yeshiva, parochial kind of real religious back, you know, background to this place where just it was so liberal and so artistic and so sort of free, you know, and it took me a minute. I was scared for the first year. I didn't know what was happening. And his you thinking changed. School. I'm so good at making clothes and I have such a knack for this other thing. And so I chickened out, basically, you know, I chickened out. When fame came, Mizrahi could fulfill his original ambition. This is my my second act. And I'm just like getting started. You know, I can't wait for more gigs. I can't wait to get up and do this. <laughs> Isaac Mizrahi calls tonight's opening at the Carlisle extra, extra special because it's been two years since he last performed for an audience there. And he notes the virtual shows he did last year just weren't the same at all. His stand at one of Manhattan's most prestigious venues is just one more sign the city's nightlife is coming back.